sequence of emotions, fear, anger, pain, and grief are very real experiences of every human life, every human life. We are connected to those experiences of fear, anger, pain, and grief. And, you know, like, right in there, in the, in the nub of it all, the underground fact is that there is connection to my pain. I am connected. <laughs> Intrinsic life connectedness to all experience, including you know, the bliss of a coconut tree or the bliss of pouring a coconut water down your throat or the bliss of being with each other, the bliss of being in a sexual union with each other. These are all connections, right? No less than the connection to fear, <laughs> to anger, to pain. Fundamentally, we are connected. That is our condition. And it's not to get unconnected from fear, anger, pain when they are real emotions and are serving a very valid function in life. They do. Without, fe without the human organism having fear, anger, and pain, mm. we would die. Mm. Now, they pain. Mother Nature's nurturing function. We would not know to take our hand out of the fire. If we were a caveman and we didn't have pain, we'd, you, know, you wouldn't take your hand out of the fire. Mm -hmm. So it's Mother Nature's functioning to make corrections to keep us safe. This, this uh, phenomena of pain, physical pain as well as emotional pain. We are connected to that pain. It's real. It is not, pain is not the enemy. We're not trying to do yoga or become more aware of the, the one who is in pain. <laughs> more aware of awareness until pain suddenly so dissolves or something. I think this is the very activity of humanity that is causing the pain. It is causing dissociation from life, from each other. It causes fear, anger, pain. These doctrines of... <coughs> of no object, of awareness only. It's a beautiful idea that is taught in the traditions and yoga states that that arises as a siddhi naturally. You can't make it happen. So that's not what we practice. We practice direct intimacy with life, body, breath and relationship in that order. And in those practices, the siddhis or the results, the gifts of our sadhana <clears throat> that which we can do, then arise, those insights just arise. And you go, oh, fuck, everything is consciousness. Actually, you know, <clears throat> but you can't make that happen. You can't take heaven by storm. Mm. But I think the main thing you're beautifully bringing forth is, yes, we are <clears throat> fundamentally always in the state of connection to life, whatever life is is altogether, including the natural functions that are there in the human life, which are fear, anger, pain, and grief. And they're probably in the animal life too. Mm. I don't know. <clears throat> Where we just allow the fact of, you know, there is pain. And the, the teaching around that is you predict the next emotion so you don't get fixated in, you know, all, all this, this sequence of emotion that goes from numbness fear, anger, pain, grief, then compassion, then forgiveness, then love, <clears throat> the unitary context of all life, love. <laughs> all life is arising in the one, the one reality. We can call this love, inherent connectedness of everything with everything. That sequence is a whole sequence. No emotion arises in isolation from any other emotion. You're angry because you're, you've been fearful. Mm. Below that, anger is the pain, more fundamental to the anger. So you predict the next emotion coming. I'm, in, I'm, you know, I'm angry, but really, why am I angry? I'm in pain. So be willing to go to pain and then willing to go to grief for the whole shit shoddy deal that's been dished up to me and everybody else. Humanity's behaviour on humanity is a very <clears throat> real thing to have a lot of grief about. <laughs> it's 
So you get to grief. And in grief, there are these siddhis or um, the spontaneous arising of compassion for ourselves and for each other and for everybody dished up such terrible uh, human conditions. Everybody. And then you're, you know, this is the compassion of the Buddha, the, the love of Christ, is that that's what's there then. But you can't get there through an idealism. You can't be forgiving unless you go through all the other stages of emotions in relationship to somebody. <laughs>